Hello friends, in this video we'll discuss about Euler graph and we'll see different examples of it. Welcome back friends, let's start with the one of the most important topic from graph and the topic name is Euler graph, very important out of every 10 paper you can expect at least 8 to 9 papers in the exam this, uh, this topic. So very important topic and it's very simple topic. So let us start with the definition. First of all, a graph is said to be Euler graph if it contains closed Euler path. First point clear. What is the point? A graph is Euler graph if it contains closed Euler path or closed Euler path is also called Euler circuit. So what do you mean by closed Euler path? Closed mean the starting and ending vertex must be same like open walk, close walk that we discussed in the last video, same story. If the starting and ending vertex is same, then it is called a closed Euler path. So a graph is Euler graph. If it has closed Euler path, that means the starting and ending vertex is same. So we, we got it. What is a Euler graph? Now the point is, what is Euler path? Euler path means each and every vertex must be visited once and there is no restriction on uh, sorry, each and every uh, age must be visited once and there is no restriction on vertices. See how I remember this. Euler E, ages E. So it includes all the ages once, ages E and Euler E. It includes all the ages once and vertex may be repeated. So this is your Euler path. Now you might be thinking, is it similar to walk? Or is there any difference between walk and a Euler path? Yes, there is a difference. And the difference is, first of all, let us check what is the similarity between walk and Euler path. Both the uh, method says, age should not be visited more than once and there is no restriction on vertices. So here also the same condition, there also it is the same condition. But in case of walk, it was not necessary to visit each and every age. But in case of Euler path, it is necessary to visit each and every age. So let me give an example. Suppose this is the graph. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I talk about walk, 1, 2, 3, it's a walk. See here. 1, 2 and 3. This is visited once, no restriction on what I said. It's a walk, but it's not a, a Euler path. Why? Because in case of Euler path, every age must be visited these two ages must be visited if you extend this see here 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 now you can see all the ages are visited once then it it is called euler path is this concept clear euler path and what is the difference between walk and euler path so let me repeat again first of all what is a euler graph it contains closed Euler path. Closed Euler path means what? Starting and ending vertex should be same. What is the Euler path? And what is the difference between walk and Euler path? In walk and Euler path, in both, ages must not be visited more than once. No restriction on vertices. But in case of Euler path, all the ages must be visited. But that was not the condition with the walk. Now, there are few graphs given in front of us. And we need to check whether they are Euler graph or not. First of all, if you remember point number one, very important point in gate exam, MCQ exam or uh, any competitive exam by looking at the graph, you can see whether it is a Euler graph or not. And the condition is in case of Euler graph, all the vertices have even degree. So first point, very important point. If a graph is Euler graph, then all the vertices are of even degree. So this is the first point, very important point. So all the vertex should be of even degree, then the graph is said to be Euler graph. So let us check which graph is a Euler graph or not. All the vertices should have even degree. See here, 2, its degree is 4, 2, its degree is 3. Is it a Euler graph? No, because this particular vertex is not a, uh, this particular vertex has odd degree. Therefore, it's not a Euler graph. So the condition for Euler graph is all the vertices should have even degree. There is one more point. See. There is one more point, we'll discuss all the graph, don't worry. First of all, let us understand. There is one more point. If there is a vertex with odd degree, it cannot be Euler graph. Because what is the condition for Euler graph? All the vertices must have even degree. If there is a vertex with odd degree, it's not a Euler graph. 
Now there is one more condition. It's an additional condition. If there are exactly two vertices with odd degrees, if there are exactly two vertices with odd degrees, obviously it can't be Euler graph because if there is at least one vertex of odd degree, it cannot be Euler graph. Now we are talking if there are two vertices with odd degrees, obviously it can't be Euler graph, but there can be a Euler path. What is the difference between Euler graph and Euler path? Euler graph contains closed Euler path. And, and what is closed Euler path? Starting and ending vertex is same. So if there are vertices with exactly two vertices with odd degree, there cannot be Euler graph. That means there cannot be closed Euler path. That means starting and ending vertex is not same, but there will be a Euler path that will start from one vertex with odd degree and that will end at the other vertex of odd degree. So this is the entire discussion. I hope this is clear. If not, don't worry. While uh, if we see this example, the topic will be very clear to you. So let me repeat again. See, it, uh, it's a bit, uh, you can say complicated to understand, but once you understood, it's the simplest topic. So let us start again. What is Euler graph? It must contains closed Euler path. Closed Euler path is what? Euler circuit. That means it's starting and ending vertex should be same. So what is Euler path? All the edges must be visited once there is no restriction on vertices. What is the difference between walk and path? Uh, walk and Euler path. In case of walk, no condition that all the edges must be traversed. But here you, in Euler path, the condition is all the edges must be traversed once. How to check whether a graph is Euler graph or not? If all the vertices have even degree, then it is a Euler graph. If there is at least one vertex with odd degree, it's not a Euler graph. There is a special case you can say exactly two vertices with odd degree obviously it cannot be Euler graph but it will be Euler path which will start from one vertex of odd degree and it will end at the other vertex of odd degree so no problem don't worry whatever we discussed if you didn't understand anything no problem let us understand with the help of example and it will be very clear let us start first of all my aim is to check whether the graphs are Euler graph or not and if it is a Euler graph so obviously there will be Euler circuit. If it is a Euler graph, there will be a Euler circuit or closed Euler path. So that we need to write it down. So let us discuss the first one. What is the criteria for checking? All the vertices must have E1 degree. See, the degree is 2, E1. 1, 2, 3, the degree is odd. Story over. There is a vertex with the degree odd. It is not a Euler graph. So not Euler graph. First point is clear. Now we need to check for a special case and this is the special case. If there are exactly two vertices with odd degree, there can be a Euler path. So let me check. This is degree 2, this is degree 4, this is degree 2, this is degree 3 and this is degree 3. That means in graph number 1, that means in graph number 1, there are exactly two vertices with odd degree. See, at least one vertex with odd degree, it cannot be Euler graph. That story is over. But if there are exactly two vertices with odd degree, there will be a Euler path and that will start from that will start from let me extend this point that will start from one vertex of odd degree and end with other vertex of with odd degree so no not a Euler graph because there are two vertices with odd degree there will be Euler path that will start from one vertex of odd degree and end with the other vertex with the odd degree so this is one vertex with the odd degree so let us start with E so the path will be from E to you can go to A from A to B. What is the condition? Edges must be visited once only and all the edges must be covered. So from B you can come to E. So there is no problem. E is repeated. So that is perfectly fine because there is no restriction on uh, edges, uh, vertices. Then it will be D. Then it will be B. Then it will be C and D. See here. It's called, uh, it is called a Euler path. Why it is called Euler path? See, 
all the ages are traversed once there is no age which is left and it is traversed once no restriction on vertices and therefore it is a Euler path suppose the starting and ending point is same suppose I'm giving the example suppose the starting and ending point is same then it is called closed Euler path and then that becomes a Euler graph but here obviously it is not a Euler graph that we know that means there is no closed Euler path but there is a Euler path not closed but there is a Euler path that will start with one vertex of odd degree and end with the other vertex of odd degree now you can start from D also and you can come back to E so make sure that exactly two vertices of odd degree start from one and end at the other let us move on now the question is now the question is what if see this is the example in which we have two vertices with odd degree what if we have three vertices with odd degree please tell me the answer if we have three vertices with odd degree first of all it will not be Euler graph because the condition is all the vertices should have even degree as well as there will be no Euler path because Euler path exists only if two vertices with the odd degree is this clear let us move on let us discuss the next graph now let us check this is even this is even this is odd this is odd and this is even so what do you mean by that since odd so first of all not a Euler graph why not a Euler graph because there is a vertex with odd degree not a Euler graph now let me check will there be a path Euler path this is odd this is odd exactly two vertices of odd degree that means there will be a Euler path that will start from one vertex with the odd degree so I'm starting with D you can start with B also you cannot start from E one vertex with the odd degree and should end at the other vertex with the odd degree so let's me start D E A B C and D that's it so very simple story and from D this edge is left so we'll go to B now all the edges are traversed once starting point is D ending point is B let's move on let us discuss the next graph again if you check one vertex this vertex with the odd degree so obviously it will not a Euler graph so obviously there will be not uh, will be a closed Euler path still check will there be a path when if there are two vertices with the odd degree see this is odd degree this is odd degree this is even this is even one two three four five six this is also even that means there will be a Euler path start with one and it end with seven so let me check one four three two and back to one then three then five then seven then six then three and finally 7 so see started with 1 ended with 7 vertices may be repeated no problem let us move on let us discuss the next graph let me check this particular graph 1 2 3 4 this is even 1 2 3 4 this is also even this is even 1 2 3 4 this is even 1 2 3 4 this is also even this is also even that means all the vertices uh, have even degree therefore it's what a Euler graph that means there will be closed Euler path so let us check that Euler path so let me start with a so from A you can go to B, from B you can go to D, from D you can go to C, from C you can go to again B and from B you can go to E, from E you can go to D, from D you can go to A, from A you can go to E and from E you can go to F from F you can go to A see here all the edges are visited once see no edge left and they all are visited once and since the starting and ending point is same therefore it is a closed Euler path and obviously we identified the graph is Euler graph so there must be a Euler path closed Euler path so the starting and ending point is same is this clear let us move on let us discuss the next example so this is my next example it's degrees 3 it's not a Euler graph now let me check is there any possibility of Euler path there may be a possibility of Euler path if there are exactly two vertices with the odd degree this is with odd degree this is with odd degree 
वन टू थ्री फोर दिस इज इवन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स दिस इज ऑल्सो इवन दिस इज ऑड नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ग्राफ देर आर थ्री वर्टाइसेस विथ ऑड डिग्री देर आर एक्चुअली फोर वर्टाइसेस सो इट डजेंट मैटर टू मी आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू चेक सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स नॉट अ यूलर ग्राफ आई होप दिस इज क्लियर वाई नॉट इट्स अ यूलर ग्राफ बिकॉज देर आर वर्टाइसेस विद द ऑड डिग्री नाउ माई एम इज टू चेक विदर एक्जैक्टली टू आर ऑड डिग्री ऑड नॉट this is odd this is odd this is odd story over no need to check for, uh, no need to check further because we found out three vertices with the odd degree that means no euler graph no euler path let us discuss the last example 1 2 3 4 this is even 1 2 3 4 even 1 2 3 4 this is also even this is even 1 2 3 4 even this is also even this is also even that means all the vertices are of even degree therefore it's a euler graph since it is a euler graph there must be a closed euler path so let us start 6 7 see from 6 to 7 from 7 to 6 from 6 to 4 from 4 to 3 From three to five, five to seven. From seven to three. From three to two. From two to one. From one to two. From two to four. From four to one. And from one to six. See the starting and ending point is same, and all the edges are traversed once. No restriction on vertices. So this is your Euler graph. Is this clear? So I think this much practice is enough. Now you can uh, pick any textbook, or you can uh, refer. Uh, you can go to internet and you can pick the question, and you can verify whether it's a Euler graph or not. How to remember? See, there is a concept. Each and every edge must must be visited once. since it is euler how to remember euler e h e so that is what about euler graph hope you understood thank you for watching this video take care